Mike. Mike, what do you think? Peter Pan? No. I'm Robin Hood. Equally gay. Thanks very much. So, uh, who are you supposed to be? The name is Bond. James Bond. <laughs> you know, with the accent, you sound tarded. Oh, re tarded. <laughs> Greetings, mortals! Tis I, Geldspar the Impervious, protector of the land of Norn, heir to the throne of Nimbus, wielder of the staff of Glug, guardian of the outer realm of Zans. Ah, Spicer, hey, wrap it up! <laughs> Sorry, Geldspar's really drunk. <laughs> Good evening, Geldspar. Hey, <laughs> it's James Bond. It's a great accent, Mike. Nice tights, Peter Pan. What's up, boys? <laughs> What's with the uh, get-ups? What do you think, the Halloween party? Is that tonight? <laughs> I completely forgot. I gotta go get my costume. Aaron. Happy Halloween. The name is Bond. James Bond. So, two cute English guys live here. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, there's only one cute English guy living here. Oh, well, come on, you're cute too. <laughs> hey, Chow. Liz, there's something different about you. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. Wait, it's your giant boobies. <laughs> I know, aren't they spectacular? <laughs> I just can't stop touching them. <laughs> stop it, you're making me tilt the salad bar. Hey, guys. Nice costumes. James Bond, Gal's Bar, Peter Pan. I'm not Peter Pan, I'm Robin Hood. <laughs> and you people are ruining my Halloween. Dear boy, do grow up. <laughs> but wait, Peter Pan never grows up. <laughs> oh, wow, Tomb Raider. Great luck. Yeah, thanks. Uh, look, I used to work with the homeless, and I think that your outfit shows a lack of sensitivity and class. Ah, oh, my fake nipple came loose. <laughs> Why are you dressed as a salad bar? Dude, that is easy. Chicks love salad. Chow's gonna find himself a female to dress his lettuce. If you know what I mean. Uh, yes, I know what you mean. You know. Shake the bacon bits. Yes, got it the first time. You know. Find a lady friend to match the croutons. I'm gonna leave now. Hey, um, mind if I munch your croutons? You know. Oh, Ooh. you know! <laughs> ah. Ah. Dude, that girl Marcy, remember the bag lady from the party? She is coming back to see me. Ooh, Mike, 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 uh, do your British accent. That way she'll think I have classy friends. <laughs> Well, Chow, I could just talk to her. No, you keep it zipped. She didn't like you. <laughs> I'd be delighted, old chap. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, hang on a sec, guys. Look, I was raised in Surrey. I summered in Bristol and attended Oxford University. And the only person I've ever heard with a worse English accent is Kevin Costner. <laughs> you know what? You're just mad because I discovered your secret. You get girls because of your accent. <laughs> what? That's like saying you don't get girls because of your hair, which is just one piece of a very large puzzle. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, dude, look, I saw the way it worked last night. I'll tell you what, tonight we'll go out, I'll talk British, you talk American. We'll see who pops around the flat with a few birds. <laughs> Fine, it's a bet, you freaking wanker. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you freaking moron. Ciao. Marcy, mm. hey. So what do you got, another costume party? Um, no, this is how I dress every day. Oh. Oh, so you, you really live on the streets? Yeah. I probably should have told you, but Halloween is sort of a big holiday for us. I crashed three parties, and I got to walk in a parade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I wore my offensive outfit again. It's just, well, it's just the only one I have. No. No, that's fine. See, I thought you were only pretending to live on the streets, but you really do, so that's great. <laughs> I mean, not great for you, but great for me, because I have an apartment. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I should go. <laughs> so, uh, so we on for tonight? You still want to, even though I'm... More beautiful than I remembered? Huh? Yeah. So, um, where should I pick you up? My place. I'm on 22nd Street in the alley behind the Blarney Stone. If you see a guy who's screaming that he's Jesus, you went too far. On a date? It's a date. <laughs> well, I should get going. Okay. Bennigan's throws out their trash in 20 minutes. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Yes! Shower's in! <laughs> Come on! Yeah! Right! No! Ah! <laughs> Chow, are you sure about this? Yeah! Didn't you see her? She's cute and funky. <laughs> and she digs Chow. Chow, didn't you notice that she's... Got uh... a little junk in the trunk? Yeah, Chow likes the booty! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Chow, she's homeless. Uh, you say homeless. I say outdoorsy. <laughs> If I hadn't had my cricket bat with me, it would have been one picket billy of a pomegranate. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, this is my flatmate. Phil. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Fine. Why do American guys always say that? How you doing? British guys sound so much classier. Well, we did invent the language. <laughs> Shall we get another gargle of the belly, Wicko? Sure. Your sayings are so cute. Well, yeah, but they, they don't mean nothing. He's making them up. How do you know? Because I'm British. What, just a second ago you were American? Well, looks like someone's pulling a croggy doogle. <laughs> what? There's no such thing as a croggy doogle. Oh, no, no, not if you're an Ippishnikan, no. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's fantastic. <laughs> I've never been inside a girl's box before. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, the front porch area. <laughs> okay. So, um, so how long have you lived here? Three years. My husband used to live with me, but we broke up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, it's for the best. He had a temper, it was a bad marriage. But at least I got the box. <laughs> yeah. About that, this whole, um, living on the street, smelling of urine thing, um, <laughs> why do you do it? Bad luck, mostly. Oh, and my doctors say I'm crazy. Yeah. My dentist gives me a hard time for not flossing. <laughs> anyway, you don't seem crazy. See, that's what I say. But you know doctors, they all work for the... The Chinese people! The Chinese people! <laughs> yeah. I hate those little punks. So you're okay with all of this? Hey. We all got our little quirks. Wow, that is so non-judgmental. I've never met anyone who didn't want to change me. Marcy, can I interest you in an Altoid? Yeah, I live in the Hadley building. You know a lot of celebrities live there. You should uh, come by, check it out, girl. Sweet! <laughs> All right. I admit it. Speaking like you makes women run for the hills. Now I understand your interest in hookers. So I win, huh? 
Yeah, it's all right, you win. But uh, just do me a favor, please, stop talking in that ridiculous accent. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. <laughs> oh, right, well, fine, but just stay out of my way, OK, because this girl from my work just came in. Hey, Cindy. Oh, hi, you Hey, how's it going? Good. Hi, I'm Cindy. Michael. You and Splatmate. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Michael. No one likes a nipper schnicker. <laughs> a what? <laughs> Sometimes I swear he just makes up his own Lester Shams. <laughs> Sod off. Cindy is my friend. Well, dude, we work together. You don't own me. Some oh. of us Brits are still a bit imperialistic. <laughs> you and she's a human being, not India. <laughs> You. Michael, would you like to dance? Smashing? <laughs> I'd love a little whirly burly on my mum's old pine board. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything! Just a tick, love. <laughs> it means that I'm dancing with Cindy and you are going home to wax the saucy bishop. <laughs> pip, pip, fitty pops! <laughs> oh, that is a lovely spot of tea. So, what part of England are you from? Well, I was raised in Surrey. But we summered in Bristol and I attended university at Oxford. What? That's it, my kitchen. Back in a tallywaggle. <laughs> Help yourself to a biscuit. <laughs> That's it. Look, it's bad enough you've nicked my accent, but now you've stolen my life story. What's next, Mr. Ripley? You gonna bash my brains in with a boat oar? Fine. I'll make up my own stupid life. Now, would you get out of here? You're blocking my John Thomas. Michael, your tea's getting cold. Back in the jiff, lovey. <laughs> Look, she likes British Mike. Just play along, all right? Fine. But there are no plans to kill me, right? It's not like... Concrete plans, no. Pardon the delay, my flatmate and I had to squire with the old tuppence. I can't take this. I'm going down the pig and wicker. Oh, what's the pig and wicker? That is our local English pub. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it is fun. Terribly fun. Hey, you know what? Why don't you two come with me? Oh, oh I don't think she'd enjoy hobnobbing with a swaggle of stuffy Brits. <laughs> Of course you will. You know, we'll, we'll sink some pints and eat some chips and, and you'll get to see Mike with his fellow countrymen answering all sorts of questions about England. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. Where's this place? Oh, it's just down the road, right next to the old boat hall shop. <laughs> I'm in love. I see Marcy's face everywhere in the clouds, the stars. Do not accept checks from these people signed at the liquor store. God, it sounds like love. Chow, I am really impressed with you. You see past her problems and appreciate who she is on the inside. You're very evolved. Yeah. That's what the guys in my porn club always tell me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. 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 Got a present for you. A shopping bag. <laughs> it's just what I needed. <laughs> Look inside. Cans, how did you know? <laughs> well, you, you said before that sometimes you collected them. And I, I, I thought, I don't know, I'll have them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't accept these. What's wrong? Steve came back. Steve, your ex? We're gonna give it another shot. You said he was abusive, remember? He says he's changed. I'm sorry, Chow. I'll never forget you. I don't believe this. I finally meet the perfect girl. She's, she's quirky, cute, and intelligent. Jewish. <laughs> now she's gone. Chow, I've never heard you talk about a girl this way before. If you really feel that way, go tell her. You're right. I'm not going to let her go without a fight. I'm going to go win her back. 
This is all your fault. Who are you talking to? Liz, the tiny people. Come on. <laughs> Think! <laughs> Michael, why don't you go talk to those guys? Maybe they're from the same part of England. Oh, no, no. See, in, in England, that's, that's considered rude. Talking to people in a pub is like saying, I shagged your auntie. <laughs> Don't be silly, don't be silly. Hey, excuse me, uh, guys. Um, uh, judging by my mate's accent, where would you say he's from? Go on, Mike, say something. Um, uh, fancy some of the Queen's mead, eh? <laughs> Sounds like Surrey to me. But I, I bet he spent some time in Bristol, though. He has. He used to summer there. Wait, oh, 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 um, uh, Mike, I, I forget. What's the name of the town that's just east of Bristol but west of Portsmouth? Oh, um, that's Worcester Cheer Hampton, Ha! That's not even a real town! Of course it is! My grandmum lives in Worcester Cheer Hampton, There's no such place! Are you calling me grandmum a liar? Oh, good lord, no, sir. No, no. Pip, pip, pity pop! Marcy! Marcy! What are you doing here? No. I have come to win you back. Chow, you should leave. Steve is inside and he has got a temper on him. I don't care. I don't care. Come on out, Steve. It's go time. And since you probably don't have a TV, that means we're going to fight. No, wait, okay? I'll get him. Oh. All right, where's Steve? Right here. Steve is a tire? It's more than that to me. I can't believe this. You're dumping me for him? He is bald! Chow, watch out. He's violent. Did he hurt you? Did you? You son of a bitch! <laughs> loved you like Chow Presley. I guess we really are meant to be together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, what do you, uh, what do you say we go out and get a pizza to celebrate, huh? It sounds great. Okay. Oh, can we get one with ham and pineapple? Ham and pineapple on a pizza? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the only way I'll eat it. Kukululu! <laughs> Wait, Chow! Whoa. Chow, where, where are you going? Yeah, this could never work. Hot pineapple. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Hey, Michael, the soccer game's on. Are you a fan of one of these teams? Cindy, in England, we call it a football match. <laughs> Fans are called supporters. See, I'm a Tottenham supporter. That is so sexy. Mm. Tottenham, Tottenham, row, row, row. <laughs> Mike, Mike, you might want to keep it down a bit more. Give me a T! I want you right now. Oh. Mike, <laughs> Mike, Mike, those guys are Arsenal supporters. Tottenham is their arch rival. Now, be a good boy and shut up. Right, nice try. Come on, Tottenham, kick Arsenal's ass. That should be their name, right? Love the Arsenal arses. <laughs> You've got a big mouth, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hey, I was just kidding. I'm not a Tottenham fan. I'm American here. You're American? Man, this whole thing has been a croggy doogle. <laughs> Cindy, 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 wait, I can explain. Look, I was just trying to trick you into bed. Oh! That's the worst American accent I've ever heard. Wait, guys, 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 come on. We're cool, you know, we're just uh, a couple of yanks. Yeah, so. you know, God bless America, USA. <laughs> All right. This one's American. But this wanker is clearly from Worcestershire, Hampton. -um. Whoa, guys, 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 wait, no, I am a wanker from New York. I grew up here. Oh, you grew up here? Then I'm sure you can sing Billy Joel's touching anthem to the city, New York State of Mind. Uh... 
Sometimes I think I'm fine. I don't know the words. I hate Billy Joel. You hate the piano, man. Kill him. Wait, oh, guys, 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 come on, guys. What are you going to do about it? Oh, me? I, 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 I was just going to sing Uptown Girl while you kick his ass. What? <laughs> Uptown Girl. She's been living in an Uptown World. for you.